On this video, I wanted to update you on our Starlink and how things have been going. We've had it now, I guess, probably almost two and a half, three months. We still absolutely love it. We haven't canceled our AT&T yet, and I think once we get back from our trip that we're fixing to go on, we're going to cancel it. But as of right now, we haven't had to use it at all. The Starlink is just, it's gotten even better than it had when we reviewed this the first time. They've changed the app. The app looks a little different now, so I was gonna show you that. They're, it's evolving every day and changing all the time. So look, they've changed the way the app actually looks. The status on it now, out of the last seven hours, I've had a seven second obstruction and we've had no satellite signal for a minute and a half. That's in the last seven hours. And this thing is real time. It is always like updating. It has been great. They've added this other feature. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says like it shows you where obstructions and stuff are and it's showing that it hasn't had any real obstructions. It actually has a settings now Oh, you've got security you can enable, and you can do uh, five gigahertz. That wasn't on there the other day. They are always, always adding so many cool things, and each day it changes. They did send me out an email, and that was the reason that I wanted to make this video. I was just gonna read this real quick email that we had gotten from Starlink. That's what prompted me to want to do this video, is one, I wanted to update you, but two, they're doing space lasers now, basically. It says, as Elon recently mentioned, the Starlink team is preparing to launch upgraded satellites that will include space lasers. Space lasers enable satellites to transfer data between each other other than having to go through a home. So they are getting faster in that. And that's where I feel like, like when you're looking at Facebook and stuff like that, it was a little slower. It's because it's going from the satellite, it's going up there, it's gotta go somewhere else. It's gotta go back and forth a few times to get you the corrected data. Now, when you're streaming, it is unbelievably fast because it is just sending you data from there. But when it's talking, it's slower. And they're saying that they're gonna make that better because they're gonna have a different kind of, it's gonna have space lasers then also it says that they're gonna they're doing better on connecting to the best satellite. It says team completed rolled out a new feature to all users that enables the Starlink to seamlessly switch to different satellites in real time communication with your assignment satellite is interrupted for any reason. There can only be one satellite connected to your Starlink at a time, but this feature will enable the choice of the best satellite res resulting in far fewer network disruptions. And I completely agree with that. We were having, and not that it was like crazy, we were having probably in like a 24 hour period, maybe four or five minutes of where it was no satellite. But now I feel like that's way down. I don't notice it as much as losing a satellite or losing service. So it has been a, a bunch better. And when you're streaming and you lose a satellite, usually within 30 seconds, it's gonna hit the next satellite. So if you're streaming and it's buffering, you won't even notice or even know that that even happened. And then it says that they just improved the app, which we did. You can make network uh, name, password changes in the app, enable WPA3 security. Okay, I'm not like into that stuff that you, watching this video, you might want to know, might know what that is. And you can have separate controls of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It says that they have received deposits from almost every country around the world. This is going to end up being internationally. They're just waiting on license in certain countries so that they can sell it there. I had to update you and let you know that on the bandwagon, I love it. It is super fast and it's gotten a little bit, even a little bit faster. It's still, I mean, you're talking 280 download. That's crazy. And I can upload a video while we're watching the shows and it doesn't even like affect it at all. You don't even know 
that I'm uploading a video and it uploads so fast. So if you missed our other two videos, we have the install video and how it works that we have uploaded about Starlink. You can go back and watch those if you hadn't. Till next time, like and subscribe.